They should hire us at McDonald's. That would... <gasps> we are going to start our own McDonald's. They call it the king of the comeback. The sandwich of sauce. It's the McRib. And today we're taking upon the challenge to make one bigger, better and tastier than ever before. The Comeback King, the McRib. It's been around since 1981 and it disappeared again in 1985. 81 is a great year, 80 is better because that's when I was born. But what I'm trying to say is this is a cool thing, cool sandwich. And it kind of disappears on and off. You can get it, you can't. What's going on McDonald's? What are you doing to us? Besides, you can only get it in America and in Germany. We don't have it in the Netherlands. Makes me so sad, so sad. And that's why I need to make one myself. I thought it might be better than just driving to Germany and buy one. Of course, I'm not gonna be making my McRib sandwich out of a pork shoulder put together shaped like a rib. I'm gonna make them out of actual rib. Premium quality meat. Beautiful St. Louis style cut ribs. Nice dark red meat indicating a lot of flavor and of course fat that will render down and make our ribs nice and juicy. To make some really good delicious ribs you're gonna need to make your own homemade rub. It's going to be a classic with a touch of McDonald's. Consisting of one part salt, one part paprika powder, one eighth part onion powder, one eighth part garlic powder, and one eighth part rosemary powder. And that last bit is important because McDonald's uses the rosemary extract to flavor their McRibs. Now we need to take the membrane off the back of the ribs. Use a knife to make a little beginning, and then a piece of paper towel will help you rip off that membrane straight away. And now our ribs are ready to get dusted. So we'll sprinkle on our barbecue rub on the back and on the front as well. They are already starting to look good. Our ribs are soaking up the flavor from the barbecue rub. And while that's happening, we're going to fire up our smoker. We got a good amount of smoke, so it's time to put our ribs on. The first two hours of smoking are crucial. We want enough smoke from the wood chunks to give those ribs a good amount of smoke flavor. Authentic barbecue flavor. I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to let these smoke at a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. And after about two and a half hours, our ribs look like this. What a beauty. Now we're gonna give them a little bit of extra sweetness and sprinkle on some cane sugar. Drizzle on a little bit of apple juice to keep them nice and moist. Wrap them up in aluminum foil and put them back on the smoker. And we let the ribs continue to cook until they were done. And you know, by poking them with a little toothpick, you stick it in and it feels like butter, they're done. So we took them off the barbecue and here they are. We let them rest a little bit and now we're going to unwrap them. It just struck me, this is really weird. Calling your sandwich McRibs while well, it doesn't have bones? I don't get it. Why call it McRibs if there's no ribs? All right, let's take out the bones then. tender as can be. I have to be careful that I don't break the meat while pulling out these ribs. With half a twist you get the job done without destroying them. Oh, look at how juicy they are. It's gonna be some good eating, that's for sure. And there we go. Mac ribs without the ribs. The first step of making a Mac rib starts with warming up a barbecue sauce. Make sure you choose a good quality barbecue sauce, otherwise you're gonna be sorry. We're using a honey chipotle sauce from a well-known brand. Warming the sauce up is something McDonald does too to make sure that it doesn't cool down the sandwich. And we even think that they use the sauce to warm up the meat. Once our sauce is warm, we're going to take half of the meat and half of our sandwich. 
We're going to open it up and then we're going to put that warm barbecue sauce on those beautiful ribs. Um, meat without rib. This is quite confusing. And take out these little cartilage bones, these, these soft bones that are still in the St. Louis style cut. Don't be like me and do it during the process because that's too much work. Place some pickles on top, some fine chopped onions, and the crown goes on. And your McRib is done. I think our McRib looks pretty good. If we look at it, we got a nice bun, we got a lot of meat, we got some sauce to top it off. Of course, our pickles and a little bit of onions. And I think that's gonna be a great combination because you got that sweet barbecue sauce with a little of the acidity from all of the ingredients on top. And then a great bun with real meat, not a pork patty or whatever you want. This is real meat. So I think we got a great bun here. This looks fantastic. There's only one way to find out if it's really fantastic and that's give it a try. So the Magrib finally made it to the Netherlands. Consider this to be an official complaint. Why don't we get the Magrib? We need all of the options. All of the menu options from all over the world. We need it all so we can test it all. Everything. I don't want to travel to Japan to eat the black burger. You have to have it in lettuce as well. Perhaps someone in America wants to try our, uh, our frikandel burger. You never know. We're just going to stick to our Magrib for now. And that rib looks pretty juicy. I'm a little bit scared of it. Oh, mm. this is crazy. Mm. That's a lot of sauce though. Good rib. The weird thing is, you expect you're gonna taste the bone. I said good rib. You get that rib taste, you expect you taste the bone, but you can keep on biting and biting and biting and biting and there's no bone. These ribs are perfect for the job. They only taste more meat. It's a bit heavy on the barbecue sauce for me. And I don't know what you did to it with the rub, but it has a McDonald's vibe to it. But overall, let me get a little bit of that rib just, just separately. I'm really intimidated by it. You have to eat it all. Mm. Going St. Louis style is the best option. That is a tasty rib. Mm. Mm. I love it. It's almost a shame to put it on a sandwich. We kind of follow the formula of the McDonald's McRib. And it's kind of a, like a sad thing that you got these amazing ribs and then you just put them on a sandwich, a bit, a bit of a sauce and pickles and onion and the ribs are still there and the flavor is still there, but it's a little bit overpowered by the barbecue sauce and the pickles. It's just, just a bit too much. I think we definitely should downgrade some of the ingredients that are on this. It's just too heavy. Morrison? Let's get cooking. Call your girlfriend. You're not going home yet. No. Let's get started. We'll start by making a coleslaw. Good coleslaw will make everything nice and fresh. Chinese cabbage will be perfect for this coleslaw. So I'm going to slice it real fine, take a handful, put it in a bowl, add a little bit of Japanese mayonnaise to it, followed by some apple juice and a little bit of our homemade barbecue rub. Now mix that up, make sure it's right and give it a quick taste test. And once you know it's perfect, move on to the barbecue sauce. Step one, put a pan on a hot sizzle soap. Let it come up to a temperature and add a little bit of olive oil. Sweat two tablespoons of fine chopped onions. Add a quarter cup of ketchup. Add a quarter cup of apple juice. Add two teaspoons of Worcester sauce. And a tablespoon of ketchup mayonnaise, otherwise known as sweet soy sauce. Mix it all together. Give it a quick taste. Mmm, that's good. Time to turn this into a sandwich. Start by cutting up a bun, which in our case is a ciabatta bread. Put a little bit of that beautiful coleslaw on, boneless ribs on top, and finally our homemade barbecue sauce. The crown on, cut it in half, and it's done. See how easy that is? I like the way it looks better than with the, just a little bit of pickles or onions. It, it's much more of a real thing. You know, if you would have to pay for it, you want something on your sandwich. You want not just meat, but you want the whole package. You want everything. You paid for it. You, you've, you deserve it. So here it is, the McRib that you really deserve. Okay, so now the real taste test, because uh, the last one, it didn't work out. Why did you say it was this good? Wow. It's this good. It's completely different. Mm. Mm. Why didn't they make McRibs with coleslaw? It became... It's so easy to make the McRibs better. Enjoyable. It became enjoyable. They should hire us at McDonald's. That was it. <gasps> we are going to start our own McDonald's. Our own improved versions of it. It was this really 
dark, heavy flavored sandwich and you turn it in something that you could easily finish and eat. This is, this is heaven. McDonald's Pirates. The coleslaw makes all the difference. This is a seriously good sandwich. Little less barbecue sauce. Completely different than the McRib. And you can taste the rib again. It's tender, it's soft, it's flavorful. Making your own barbecue sauce, it just makes a difference. And now the sandwich is super balanced. Just cooking up something that, that's your own, it makes a difference. You know with that store-bought sauce, it's a great barbecue sauce, but it's not for everything. It's so heavy on flavor, that kind of overpowers everything when you put too much of, of it on her. I would even trade it in for a burger. And you do need a little bit of that sauce, so when it's lighter and it's homemade. Best coleslaw I ever had. <laughs> How much time did you take on, on making that? One minute? You can fine tune it to, to, to fit your recipe perfectly. And then you can end up with something fantastic like this. You should make this. Come take us home. I love it, Marshall. Can we come up with an idea for the next video where we make a rib sandwich again? Maybe in the comments. Mm. Guys, I want to eat this sandwich, so we got to finish the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Patrons. You guys are freaking awesome. You are important to the show. Thank you for supporting us. Marson, I appreciate, appreciate it, appreciate it. What do we do, Marson? You appreciate it. That's right, and we do it very much. And the YouTube members, of course. <sighs> See you guys next time. Until then, it's makkelijk. And keep on cooking my ribs. See you, see, see you. Cheers, bye-bye. You're, you're a good English talker. Yeah, but it's, 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 I'm so impressed with the McRibs. All my English is gone. The English is gone? Yeah. Where, where did you put it? I'm, uh, where have you last seen it? I, it's, it went down with the McRibs. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna eat my sandwich. How about, how about that idea on the McDonald's Pirates? MD Pirates.